Welcome to this UniLogic tutorial. UniLogic is the complete application development environment for Unitronics Unistream control platform. My name is Alex and today's tutorial is on getting started with UniLogic. In this basic tutorial we will create a new project and learn about media folders, learn about data tags, data types, and scope, see the general principles of ladder including modules, functions, building ladder, regions, and comments. We will also create watch folders and select a comm channel, as well as download the project and check it in online mode. When you create a UniLogic project, you assign a project name and a path. This is because HMI media files, which include sound and video, are automatically stored by UniLogic in folders along this path. On the ribbon, click the project tab, and then select one of the following options. New. This creates a project with unallocated memory where you can assign data tags and assign them to data types according to your project's requirements. Or new with predefined operands. This creates a project with defined operand addresses that are already linked to data types. I will select the basic new option for this project and assign a file name and a location. We can call this getting started with Unistream. And then hit OK. Once the file is created, the application creates a media folder and subfolders for audio and video files. When you include audio and video in your application, UniLogic stores the files in these folders. Once the project is created, we can then select a controller. In the Solution Explorer on the left, navigate to the hardware configuration and click Controller Model. Then in the Properties window on the right, we can select the model we are using. Select the drop-down arrow from the panel size and select your model. Once the hardware is defined, we can start creating tags. UniLogic uses lexical data tags in compliance with IEC 61131-3. To create a data tag, you create a lexical name and link it to a data type. We can create a new tag by selecting the Add Tag, on, add tag icon within the global window. Here we can select Add New Tag. As we can see, there is a menu for type. Data types specify the type of memory data that is used by the element and functions in your program. They include bits, integers, reals, strings, constants, and arrays, as well as structs and buffers. Data tags also have a scope property. A tag can be configured as a global, meaning it can be used throughout the project, while a local tag will only be used within its specific function. An example tag we can create is for a bit. We can assign a name of lamp. We can also set if the tag will be retained or not. As you can see by default, the tags are not retained. There are two different memory types for the tag, retained memory and non-retained memory. The non-retained memory is larger and faster, so it is important to select retained option only if it is really necessary. To create another tag afterwards, all we have to do is select the Add icon. Another example we can create is an array of bits for switches. We can assign the name of switches. We can leave the type as bits. And we can define an array length of 5. If you're done creating tags, you can just click Save. You can also create tags by right-clicking on the global window and selecting Add Tag. Lastly, we can create a tag for an integer and give it the name Value1. Click 
we can select a 16-bit integer. Again, here we are just taking a look at the basics. These subjects are discussed in depth in our other tutorials. To create the ladder logic, navigate in the Solution Explorer to the ladder and select the desired function within a module. We can then start placing our ladder elements. This can be accomplished through both mouse and keyboard entry. Elements can be dragged and dropped directly from the toolbox on the right. To start, we can drag a direct contact and a direct coil into the first rung of the ladder. We can then assign tag information to these elements. When assigning tags, it will only display tags that can be assigned for the specific element type. For the direct contact, we can assign one of the switches from an array. Here's our array that we created for switches. When selecting from an array, it will automatically display the struct tag, and then when we select it, it will show all the individual created elements. The direct coil can also be assigned a tag. For this example, it will be linked to our lamp tag. We can also add an inverted contact by dragging it into the ladder. Modifying the order of elements is also easy since you can drag elements in series or in parallel by aligning them and placing them on a desired node. The node being selected will automatically display in green. Another way to create ladder is through using the keyboard. You can move to the toolbox by hitting Control and T, and then using IntelliSense. This means you can begin typing the name of the element, and then move down the list by using the keyboard arrows. You can then press Enter to place the element. Also, pressing Control and Enter creates an OR. You can also drag elements directly into the ladder. Also, pressing Control, Shift, and Enter creates parallel circuits below. You can also build rungs using the commands on the ladder tab ribbon up top. I can also add some different elements from the toolbox. Maybe an incrementer. And all these elements could be assigned tag information, perhaps from the switches. And the incrementers can be linked to our value one integer. And that's as easy as it is to assign tag information. Also available are comments. Right click on any net and select show comment to view a comment for that net. You can then enter any text necessary. After typing the text, you can also select it to use rich text editing. Also available are regions, which enable you to visually organize your program. You can add regions to a ladder function. Uh, you can then assign each region a name, add a comment, and select a color. In addition, you can also jump from one region to another within a function. By default, a function has a single region, though you can click the ribbon icons to add regions and assign region colors.
region th can then be collapsed and expanded as necessary. Also helpful is building watch folders, which can be viewed in online mode. To do this, select the watch tab and then click the name field to add tags. You can also right click tags in the global data window to add them. Once you're ready to download, you can first establish PC to PLC communications via Ethernet or USB cable. For USB, directly connect your PC to the controller using a mini B USB cable. Then click the PLC tab in the programming ribbon and then click communication. Select USB and the network discovery utility will automatically begin to search for Unistream devices. Then click the desired device to establish communications. Alternatively, to connect over Ethernet, Connect your PC to the controller using an Ethernet cable. The controller's Ethernet settings can then be accessed by opening UniApps. To enter UniApps, press the upper right corner of the HMI screen for several seconds. Press the Network tab and then select Ethernet. And to edit, press a field value to open the virtual keypad and then enter the values and press Apply. To exit UniApps, press the upper right hand corner again for several seconds. Once you are able to establish communications, I can type in the IP I'm using. I'm able to get communications and once you're able to establish these communications, navigate to the PLC ribbon and select one of the download options. I again will verify my Ethernet. And then I can select download. After the program is downloaded, we can view it run in online mode. To do this, select the PLC tab and click online and then verify communications. We can then view the ladder directly and modify any elements. We can also view any online values in the global window. We can also watch any tags in the watch folder we created earlier. This concludes the tutorial about getting started with UniLogic. You can find more information and example applications on our website.